put our minds on Christ. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you, God. We praise you and we honor you, Lord. We recognize you as our Adonai, our Lord and our master. We recognize you tonight as our Elohim, our creator, oh God. This is your creation, Father God, lifting up your name, God. You said, if I be lifted up, I would draw all men, oh God. Draw us tonight, Master. Draw us to you, Father God. We are recognizing you tonight, God, as El Shaddai. Master, you are God Almighty. We are recognizing you tonight as Emmanuel, the God that dwells with us. We are recognizing you tonight, God, as Jehovah Nisi, our banner, oh God. We are recognizing you tonight, oh God, as Jehovah Rohan, our shepherd master. We are recognizing you tonight, oh God, as Jehovah Saba, the God of war. We are recognizing you tonight as our God, as our Lord, as our King, as our champion, Master. We are lifting up your name on high, God, because you are everything to us, Lord. Everything to us, Master. And we love you, Father God. We love you, Master. Where would we be without you, God? We know, Father God, without your grace and your mercy, Master, we would not be standing here on tonight. So, God, we open up our mouths tonight and we give you glory. We open up our hearts tonight and we give you praise, Master. With the fruit of our lips, we bless your holy name, God. You said you are a jealous God. You are a God that sits high and looks low. And beside you, there is no other God. Your heaven is your throne and the earth is your footstool, Master. That's just how great and mighty you are, God. So we honor you tonight, Master. We honor you tonight. As a collective body, we honor you tonight. We honor you tonight. Just your presence alone, Master, will change a situation. Just one encounter with you tonight, God, will change a situation, will change the way we think, God, will change the way we act towards other people, Master. Touch us again, God. Put that fire on the inside of us, Master, that when we once were saved, Master, we were telling everybody about a man named Jesus. Touch us one more time, God. Regulate our minds, God. Renew us the right spirit on the inside of us, God, that we will not succumb or give in to these fleshly desires, Master, but we kill our own will at the altar on tonight, Master. Father God, some of us are feeling tired and heavy and low, Master, but we need your strength on tonight, Father God. As we continue to look to the hills, Master, you said our help would come from you as long as we keep our eyes on you, Lord God. Let your strength, let your joy be taking place of our weakness on tonight, God. Do it now, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Do it now, Father God. We need a right now blessing, Master. You were great to us on yesterday, but we need you even more. We need just a little more Jesus on tonight. Just a little more encouragement on tonight, Master. Just a little more love on tonight, God. A little more patience with one another. A little more gentleness, oh God. A little more kindness and meekness, God. We know we can't do it on our own, God. So we're crying out to you as our hands are lifted up, God. Raising you up, giving you glory, God. We honor you, oh God. We cry out to you, Master, because we know that you are our rock. You are our refuge. You are our help, oh God. In the time of trouble, Master, and now we bring all of our sins to you. We lay it down at your feet, Father God, knowing that we are nothing without you, Father. We need help, Father God, in those areas of sin. We need help in those areas of iniquity. We need help in those areas of our fleshly desires, God. Because we don't want to do it anymore, Master. You're coming back for your bride. And we need to be ready for you, Father. So do a great work in us and turn us around, Father God. Cast everything that is not of you into that sea of forgetfulness. And as we rise up, Father God, we know that we are a new person. We are a new creature in Christ. Old things you said have been passed away. And behold, all things are coming forth new, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Oh, we love you all tonight. We love you, God. There is nothing that we can do, Father God, that would not please you, Father God. But this, you said our lives is a living sacrifice, God. So we open up our mouths to give you glory on tonight. Give your Father glory on tonight. Give him what he so deserves on tonight. In the name of Jesus, Lord. You are so worthy, God. We lift you up on high. 
We love you, we honor you, and we praise you, God. There is no God like you. There is nobody like you, Father. Nobody like you, Lord, and we love you. We honor you, we praise you for the rest of our days, and it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come on, let the, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, open up your mouth and give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, really praise the Lord. Can we just take a couple more seconds and give the Lord a praise? Give him thanks for what he has done for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah Lord. Hallelujah, Lord, you are worthy. Hallelujah. Come on, I know we got to order a service, but can we just praise the Lord just a little bit more and give him a praise that shows just how great he is and shows how worthy he is of all the praise. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. We believe everything that was prayed shall be done. For amen means it is so. And we believe it, Father God. Lord, we came to worship you on today and just call you the Lion of Judah, Lord. For you will always rule and reign. Amen. Come on, if you know the Lord will reign now and forevermore, can we give him a praise? Hallelujah. Let's worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, let's praise them all together. Come on, somebody get on your feet and give me some energy. Amen. Come on, let's shift the atmosphere and allow the spirit to take over this place. Amen. Come on, hallelujah. Somebody put your hands together and praise the Lord. For he is truly worthy of all the praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Lion of Judah. You are my Lord and King. You are my Lord and King. You're the Lion of Judah. You reign over everything. You're the Lion of Judah. Say you are the great I am. You're the Lion of Judah. You rule over all the land. It's a holy, mighty. Say, I'll is your name on high. 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 Come on, somebody put your hands together. Woo! And really worship the Lord. Come on, can we do it again? You're the Lion of Judah. You are my Lord and King. You're the Lion of Judah. You reign over everything. You're the Lion of Judah. Yes, you are. You are the great I am. You are the Lion of Judah. It's a rule over all the land. It's a holy, mighty. Hallelujah. Come on, can we stand on our feet and praise the Lord? And just lift him up as a body of Christ. Hallelujah. Come on, I need you to clap your neighbor and just tell your neighbor. Say, come on, help me lift him up. Yeah, help me lift him up. Come on, praise the Lord. Say higher and higher. Come on, praise the Lord. He said, I need to be lifted up. More than anybody that you know. Take it a little higher. Come on. Yeah. He said, if I be lifted up. He's going to draw me. Come on, somebody. Say higher and higher. Help me lift him. Come on, there's somebody got a praise in the spirit today. That you don't want nobody to go 
to hell. So let the Lord up. Come on. Oh, help me lift up. Won't somebody praise the Lord? Because we're not done yet. We want everybody to go to heaven together. Amen. We don't want nobody to perish just because we don't open up our mouth. Amen. So I need you to open up your mouth one more time and say, Help me lift up. Oh, yes. Come on. I help me lift up. He deserves to be lifted higher and higher. Just to get out of the comfort zone and go tell somebody about the Lord and take it a little higher. Yeah. Come on, lift him up. I need you to raise the roof in here and just take it higher. Well, help me lift him. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, the Lord deserves to be lifted up. Yeah. Amen. Just because the music stopped, I expect you to praise the Lord even more. Amen. Lord, you deserve to be lifted up, Lord. We're going to honor you. We're going to glorify you until you come back, Lord. We're going to raise your name to the devil get mad at us, Lord. We're going to raise your name till people start cursing us, Lord. We're going to raise your name till people start writing us off, Lord. But we know that one person not going to write us off. And it's going to be you, Lord. We lift you up. We lift you up in the face of the enemy. We lift you up in the face of sickness. We lift you up in the face of confusion. We lift you up in the face of disobedience. We lift you up in the face of everything that is not of you. We lift you up. We lift you up. Come on, if you know that nothing can stop you from lifting up the Lord, open your mouth and praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord, we lift you up because you deserve it. Hallelujah. Come on, can anybody testify that the Lord truly deserves it? We lift him because he deserves it. We don't deserve all of this, but the Lord truly does. Amen. Hallelujah. So come on, let's worship the Lord and tell him he deserves it. Yes, Lord, you deserve all the praise. Come on, just take this moment and worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to My hallelujah belongs to you. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. My hallelujah belongs. Come on, lift your voice and say, My hallelujah. Oh, come on, meet it with your spirit. My hallelujah. We give it to you, Lord. Say, My hallelujah. Well, I need everybody to worship and tell them that you deserve it. Open up your mouth and tell him what he deserves. Well, you deserve it. Come on, the next part. Say, all of the glory. Everything I am, Lord. Everything belongs to you, Lord. I give you everything, Lord. Yes. Say all of the glory. We give it to you, Lord. 
it doesn't belong to us, but all of the glory. Come on, somebody open up your mouth and tell them you deserve it. Oh, Lord, you're worthy. Oh, you deserve it. Yes, Lord, you're worthy. What we offer for hallelujah? We say hallelujah. 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 Say hallelujah. We give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. You deserve it. Come on, worship the Lord. Oh, worship the Lord. Oh, offer up praise. Say you deserve it. Come on, I want you to start thanking the Lord. Just start thanking him for everything that he's done for you. Just start thanking him. Just give him the praise that truly comes from your spirit. Can we say it one more time? We say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. We give you hallelujah. We give you all the glory. All the honor. And all the praise. You deserve it. Come on, lift your voice. And just, just tell the Lord. Let this be a personal moment. And we just give you all of this, Lord. We don't do this for our own glory, but we give it to you, Lord. We lift you up, Lord. Because you're worthy of all the praise. Say, my hallelujah belongs to you. Come on, can anybody testify? My hallelujah belongs to you. For hallelujah is the highest praise. Come on. My hallelujah belongs to you. Say, my hallelujah. My hallelujah belongs to you. Come on, say it again. Say, my hallelujah. My hallelujah belongs to you. Lord, we offer up our praise. My hallelujah. My hallelujah belongs to you. Oh, say, my hallelujah. My hallelujah belongs to you. We give it to you, Lord. Oh, my hallelujah, yes. My hallelujah belongs to you. Thank you, Jesus. Say, whoa. Come on, seal it with a praise and give the Lord a praise right now. Come on, open up your mouth and worship the Lord. Amen. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Come on, truly worship the Lord. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Yes. hallelujah. Come on, can we give him praise tonight, everybody? Come on. Hallelujah. Come on, can we just shake the day off of us and give God what he deserves? Come on, can we just take about 10 seconds? I know it's been a long day. We're tired. I know. But he's still worthy of the glory, the honor, and the praise. Can you lift your voice in the room? Oh, come on, Zion. It's still quiet in here. We're talking about a great God. We can't sing songs and ain't going to do it. Come on, open up your mouth and give him your hallelujah. Open up your mouth and tell him that you're a great God. Yeah, I feel the Holy Ghost. And you're greatly to be praised from the rising of the sun to the going down of the sun. The name of the Lord shall be praised. We come to lift you up tonight. Yep, yeah, we came tonight intentionally to give you glory. We came with an intention to give you honor. We came with an intention to give you praise. Come on, if I got to do it by myself, I'll do it. God, you're worthy. Hey, you're worthy. Come on, Zion. Come on. Come on, shake yourself and open up your mouth to a holy God. I said he's holy. He's righteous. And we give him glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Hallelujah. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Anybody excited to be alive tonight? Come on. Are you really excited to be alive tonight? Come on. I said, you're excited that his breath is still in your body. Are you excited? Hallelujah. We welcome you tonight to Boot Camp Bibles. I feel the Holy Ghost. We welcome you tonight to Boot Camp Bible Study. We welcome you to Basic Ministries. I'm so honored to say that the visionary and leader of this great movement is none other than our very own pastor. Pastor Mustafa, can you celebrate him? Oh, come on. We can celebrate our leader just a little bit better than that. Hallelujah. We celebrate the fragrance of this house. Amen. Come on. Can we celebrate Lady Nail? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you celebrate yourselves? Can you clap for yourself? Ooh, y'all tired today. The saints is weary. But we give them glory anyhow. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us read and recite our mission statement. Basic ministry exists as the church of the 21st century to help heal empower lead and prosper god's people and their community in order to bring glory to our father which is in heaven why do we exist family hallelujah we know that god is a spirit he's a friendly and kind spirit and where does he live amen do me a favor and go greet somebody that you did not come to church with amen hallelujah Come on, sh hug them and wake them up. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is time for our basic news. Hallelujah. Come on, let's clap it up for our basic news. Let's see what the Lord has to say to us, amen, for our announcements. This week, amen, scripture today, it definitely keeps the devil away. This week, we are in 2 Chronicles chapter number 26 through 31. I got it right, Lady Neil. Amen. Can we clap it up for our sensei? He gets to keep the belt. I mean, he, I mean Dre, I'm going to start studying with Dre. Amen. Victory is still on your life, Jerry. Ain't that nice? Amen. That was an awesome battle. We're excited that this Sunday, amen, Minister Alex will be battling Minister Israel. We're starting all over again. Amen. So we're really excited about that. Amen. We ask brothers and sisters during the word of God that you please refrain from walking. We want to make sure that nothing distracts you. Amen. From hearing the word of God. And we want to make sure that you are not a distraction to the man or woman of God that's declaring the word of the Lord. Amen. We do got you covered here at Basic Ministries. Amen. Amen. If you need your devices charged, we ask that you please refrain from doing it. Amen. In the sanctuary. But we do have a charging station for you located. Amen. In our foyer area. Amen. So if you have an Android or an Apple, we do got you covered. Amen. And brothers and sisters, we do have our staff checking on your phones. Amen. To make sure amen, nobody is touching your stuff. Amen. Amen. First was with Pastor Moo every Monday through Friday, starting promptly at 7 o'clock a.m. Amen. Amen. We thank God for our awesome Deacon Stallings, who's doing a wonderful job, who celebrated a birthday yesterday. Happy birthday, Deacon Stallings. We know you're watching us. Amen. We thank God for what the Lord is doing. Amen. On First Fruits. Amen. So join us every Monday through Friday, starting at 7 a.m. Y'all got the heater on still? Lord Jesus, this off? Lord, got to take Yahshua off. Lord, basic training with Lady Nail. Amen. Every Wednesday. Can we clap it up for that? Thank you, Minister Israel. 
Amen. Our second cohort has started last week. Amen. And they will be continuing on this week with Lady Nail. Amen. If uh, you can still be a part of this course, if you have not, amen, done your basic ministries training yet, you can see Lady Nail. Amen. And we'll get you all signed up. We are a church that believes in what, family? Amen. And that's so wonderful that we know one of the core values here at Basic Ministries. Amen. But when we say that every Sunday, it's just not something that we say. It's something that we believe. It's a core value here. Amen. At a Basic Ministries. So again, like I've been reiterating every Sunday, amen, that we have some awesome, awesome things coming up in the year of 2023. We have some awesome ministries here. Amen. At Basic Ministries. Amen. And we need you amen, to sign up for one of those ministries, amen, we have iVision, amen, you can be a part of our media department, amen, we have our deacons, we have our membership intake, amen, we have, what else we got, Lady Nell, we have First Impressions, we have Feed My Sheep, amen, we have the World Changers Ministry, we need everybody to get acclimated, uh, Kanika's favorite word, amen, because she likes to mimic me, acclimated into a ministry, amen, who's all a part of a ministry here? at basic ministry who's all everybody amen if you are not a part of a ministry amen i'm going to point you into the right direction amen i'm gonna start being that 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 annoying principal that come up to you and be like what you doing why you ain't in class why you ain't in a ministry amen amen that's what we believe it's the culture of this house amen everybody got to do something aren't you happy to serve amen in the lord's church Amen. They used to say, so glad to be in the service. Amen. Not just church service. It's an honor to be in the service of the Lord. Y'all quiet. Amen. We're fasting. Amen. <laughs> We're praying. Amen. For 30 days. Amen. Amen. Anybody enjoying the fast? Amen. Sun up to sundown from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. We are reframing from food. We are reframing from social media. Amen. And we are diving into the word of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, please make sure that you are following along in our devotional. Amen. During our fast. We're excited about our shut-in that is happening on January 27th. Amen. Friday, January 27th at 9 p.m. where we will be, amen, seeking the face of the Lord. Amen. We will be on Zoom. Amen. During for this. Amen. But brothers and sisters, amen. Don't leave all of us here. Don't everybody just get on Zoom. Amen. If you can make it, come down to the sanctuary. And let's have a shut in. I don't, I've never been a part of a virtual shut in. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know. what that. When we shut in, we came into the house of the Lord. Amen. I like technology. I, you know, I do it for a living. Amen. But some stuff I like old school. I, I don't want to don't 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 click me into the Zoom room. I'm already in the room. I'm sorry. Amen. So some of us will be here. Amen. In person. Amen. At 9 p.m. Amen. So please make sure that you join us. Amen. Amen. World changers. We are excited about the world changers. We are excited that the World Changers will be having their very first youth meeting, amen, on February 10th, amen, 2023, here at Basic Ministries, starting promptly at 7 o'clock p.m., amen, amen. If you are between the ages of 12 and 24, amen, amen, that means that's you. We need to be here, amen, and that's you, Sister Neil, amen. Black don't crack. Hallelujah. You look good. Hallelujah. If you're between the ages of 12 and 24, please make sure that you are here. Uh, brothers and sisters, uh, parents, parents, we want to make sure that your children is here. If you need us to, you know, pick up your children, whatever, please make sure that you see Sister Shanae. Sister Shanae, she's waving her hand and she's excited. This is our World Changers ministry leader. Amen. We had an awesome, awesome mentors meeting this past Friday. Amen. At the Buttercup. Amen. It was good. Amen. The meeting was good and the food was good. Amen. Amen. But please make sure mark this on your calendar, February 10th. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we are implementing something new here at Basic Ministries and we are excited every second Sunday. Amen. If you are part of an auxiliary, if you are part of a ministry, amen, your ministry leadership have already told you, amen, that after morning worship, we will be having our basic team meetings. Amen. So I believe the media ministry 
ministry will be meeting here. Amen. The world changers will be the will be meeting in the back right here in our what's this room? Our feed my sheep room. Amen. Our membership intake team will be meeting. Amen. In our classroom over here. Amen. So every auxiliary, amen, we're calling this our basic team meeting Sunday. So after worship service, we won't hold you long. It will be no longer than an hour. Amen. Just talking about, amen, different things in your auxiliary. Amen. So please make sure that you go to your auxiliary leaders. Amen. And they will give you more information about this. Amen. Amen. We're excited about church family feud. Amen. Amen. We, amen, basic ministries will be battling, amen, one-way assembly, amen, on February 20th, 2023. Amen. They called us to battle, amen, and you know we had to step up to the plate. They going down, amen. They called us. You want to battle us? Amen. You know, you got to know the word here at basic. We better not embarrass Jesus. And we bet not embarrass Chief. So whoever on the team, please make sure that you read. Because I will be getting phone calls that I don't want to get. Amen. So please. Amen. No, we're excited. We're going there to have some godly fun. Amen. Amen. I believe that the pastor said they're going to feed us and they're going to host us very well. Amen. And we're just excited to go. Amen. And have some godly fun. Amen. Amen. It is at it is at one way church, right, Pastor? There. Okay, we'll have the address this Sunday. Amen. We're excited about our filthy rags gear. Amen. Amen. Um, please make sure that you patronize from us. We do have all of these great hoodies available for purchase today. And you can see Lady Nail, amen, who is our salesperson for filthy rags. Amen. We're excited about Pastor's new single like you. Amen. Who got Pastor's new single? Amen. Hey man, y'all got it. Y'all purchased it, or y'all been streaming. You purchased it. You can't per you can't purchase on Spotify. Hey Amen. That's your whole husband. So go to the Google Play Store. <laughs> go to the Google. I know I used to have an Android, but I elevated. So go to the Google Play Store. Hey man, and make sure that you patronize. Hey man, I'm playing y'all, but we want to make sure that we purchase it. It's only it's a dollar, right? It's a dollar. Streaming is great. Streaming is great, but we want to support, amen, our pastor. Let's let's hear a little bit of like you, y'all. Come on, everybody, let's all get down and just clap your hands to this funky sound. The priest in the booth went simply drink, so you know we're going to lift him up today. I'm tired of being me. Living my life like a creep Pull up in my Jeep, I make my chopper go yeah. Yeah. Posted on the corner, chilling with the villains Smoking me a wall mm -hmm. You see, I can't help myself I'm bad for my health, about to kill myself I said, I fed up with myself And them asking, can you save the Lord from myself? And make me just like you Walk in, talk, and do what you do. Watch in your blood to I'm a see through. Live life closer, just like a Hebrew. Join to the hip to they think what's I mean. Let your word be in me, just like an IV. I didn't go like I stole your ID. Can't tell the difference if it's you or if it's me. My Lord. I gotta be just like you, I gotta be just like you, I gotta be just like you. In everything I do, every little thing, my Lord. I gotta be just like you, I gotta be just like you, like you, like you. If you got money, drugs that you're talking about, talking about, you can stand on my back. Amen. Come on, let's give it up for Pastor New Single. Like you, please make sure that you patronize it. Amen. Amen. I just love our first lady. Amen. Hallelujah. My bubble and my boom box is returning. February. God, April 1st. 
2023. We are excited about the return of my Bible and my boombox. Amen. Amen. And we are honored, honored that we get to host, amen, one of the top, amen, gospel hip hop artists. Emmanuel, the prophet, will be here with us. Amen. We are so excited about that. Amen. Of course, Pastor R. Collins, God's Mob, PZGM3, Kid Wow, Salachi Vaz. God's child, our very own, amen, Sister Shanae and Minister Israel will be hosting, amen, we have put together an awesome, awesome praise party for you, amen, and so we are so excited, brothers and sisters, amen, we are a church that believes in what? Amen, so we need everybody to sell tickets, amen, y'all excited, y'all got quiet, Amen. So we're asking, brothers and sisters, amen, amen, that you help us, amen, amen, sell tickets. This is an awesome, awesome event, amen, that Pastor is putting on, that we are putting on, and we want to make sure, amen, that we, amen, knock it out the park, amen? A lot of different components, amen, we'll need help, so we will be having a volunteer, she's, we need help. In, in different areas and we'll let you know in those areas which we need assistance in this is going to be a great a great event if you see it on social media please make sure that you uh share it amen on your social media platforms amen I mean, we're excited that pastor's going on tour the against all odds tour amen April 21st, April 22nd, and April 23rd. Amen. We are excited about that. We're going to Arizona. We're going to L.A. Amen. And then we're going to end the tour right here in San Leandro. Amen. Please make sure that you mark on your calendars. Amen. That on the 23rd of April, we will not be here. Amen. At Basic Ministries at 1130. But we will be here at 6 o'clock p.m. Amen. So please make sure that you mark that on your calendar. Amen. We're excited about our Dare to Dream program that is happening this summer amen 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 we had an awesome time last year and we're going to do it again this year and we are extremely extremely excited about that amen so we want to make sure brothers and sisters amen amen that you donate if you can amen please amen patronize us and help and us uh, give back to amen our young people this summer amen i know that was a lot of announcements but we do a lot here at basic ministries we're not a monument we're a movement amen so we're excited Amen. Let's give it away. Uh, let's give it up. Amen. For Bible drill. Amen. All right. Are y'all ready for Bible drill? Y'all not. I need y'all to wake up. <laughs> get your Bible. No. Get your Bible. Get your Bible. Get your real sword in your hand. <laughs> I need my ladies to help us pull. We been losing, y'all. I don't like to lose. <laughs> Get your Bibles in the air. All right. So for those who've never played this game, I'm going to have you lift your Bible in the air. I'm going to call out a scripture. You have to find it, right? Before you stand up and say amen, you got to have that scripture in your verse in the hand. Then you stand up and shout amen and read it, all right? Y'all got me? All right, all Bibles up. Bibles in the air. Got to catch the beat. I got all my ladies. Where you at, my boy? Where you at, my boy? Catch the beat, y'all. There you go. All right. Somebody please find Exodus 21 and 24. Exodus 21 and 24. Amen. <laughs> Amen. That's the word. Listen to the scripture. There is a theme. Get them up. Can somebody please find First Corinthians? 15 and 52. First Corinthians 15 and 52. First Corinthians 15. Curtis stood up.
Amen. That's the word. All right. Get your Bibles up. That was a good one. Somebody find Zechariah 2 and 8. Zechariah 2 and 8. Zechariah. Amen. Come on, sis. That's all right, teamwork. There you go. All right, that is the word. Amen. Ladies, two, men, one. Let's do this. No, y'all can stay seated. Amen. Somebody find Psalms 32 and 8. Psalms 32. Uh-uh, Curtis, you flipping. Don't be flipping. You flip. Go ahead. He flipped. All right. Two for the brothers, two for the ladies. Tiebreaker. Here we go. Somebody find Luke. Luke 18, 25. Luke 18 and 25. Luke, Luke, Luke. She stood up. That's all right. <laughs> That's cheating. I got one more. Now sit down. We finna, we finna do it again. <laughs> Get him up. This is easy one. Go to Revelations one and seven. Revelations one and seven. Revelations one. Me. All right, what's the nice theme? The eye. The eye. Amen. Amen. Come on, baby. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. Let's give God a round of applause. Amen. <laughs> Amen. To God be the glory, brothers and sisters. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, amen. Excited to be alive, amen, in the land of the living, amen. Well, we're going to get ready to go back into our fruits of the spirit teaching, amen. That's what we have been learning here, but also, amen, Lady Nell has been doing her basic training with our second cohort. So at this time, if you are in Lady Nell's basic training, I'm going to dismiss you all to Amen. Going to that class. Amen. And everybody else that's with me and fruits of the spirit. Get ready to go to Galatians chapter five, verse 22 through 23. Last week, we had a homework assignment on love, meaning you needed the three scriptures about love. You needed to write how does uh, being loved benefit you? And others, one paragraph you needed to write. What do you need to? What do you need to, uh, to do in order to gain or maintain love? That was one paragraph. And then this last paragraph. In what situation did you actively practice being loving? Amen. What did you do, and what was the result? Amen. It's on this paper right here. Did everybody get this? Amen. So, amen. Our virtual audience. Amen. And some more on the table. But that was that was last week. <laughs> it was three scriptures. 
Amen. On love. How does being loving benefit you and others? That was one question, one paragraph. What do you need to do in order to gain or maintain that fruit of the spirit, which is love? And in what situations did you actively practice being lovely, loving, excuse me, what did you do and what was the result? That should be another paragraph. Amen. If you have it, turn it into Minister D. Put it up. Amen. Amen. I know Israel has his. Amen. Anybody else? Amen. Amen. This week, we we're going to get into uh, our second fruit, which is joy. Amen. And we're going to, and you need to do the same thing with joy. Joy is the same thing. You need three scriptures on joy for next week. Well, you need to write one paragraph on how does being joyful benefit you and others. You need to write one paragraph. What do you need to, in order to gain and maintain your joy? And in what situation did you actively practice being joyful? What did it do? And what was the results? Amen. So every week it's the same questions. It's just going to be a different fruit. So the homework doesn't change. It's only thing that changes is the fruit. That makes sense, brothers and sisters? Amen. We're going to get ready to go into Galatians 5, 22 through 23. But before we go in there, amen, I want to ask a couple of questions. What are the two ordinances of the church? And Holy Communion. Those are two things that Christ has ordained us uh, as his people to do. One to be baptized and one to take Holy Communion. Amen. Uh, who was the father of the nation of Israel? Who was the father? Abraham. And from Abraham came what? From, from Abraham came who? Isaac. And from Isaac came who? Jacob. And from Jacob came what? The 12 tribes. Who can name the 12 tribes? Now, you didn't went into the 12 dis oh, disciples. I did, I did. I did. Let, I'm going to name them for you. I know Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Zebulun, Issachar, Dan, Gad, Asher, Nepothel, Joseph, and Benjamin. Those are the 12 tribes of Israel. I'll name them again. Simeon. Levi, Judah, Zebulun, Issachar, Dan, Gad, Asher, Nepothel, Joseph, and Benjamin. How many women gave birth to these 12 tribes? Four. Four women. Amen. Leah, Rachel, Zappal, and Bethal. So Paul was Leah's servant. Bahal was Rachel's servant. It was four women that gave birth to these 12 tribes. Amen? I'm just giving y'all some foundational stuff. Amen? Because everything that we do believe is built off that. That is the foundation. Always remember, Christianity came from Judaism. Judaism is the parent religion of Christianity. We came out of Judaism. Amen. So all of it's built on that. Amen. Like we often say in football, before you know how to run technical plays, you first have to learn how to get the three-point stands. Right? So everything that we do believe so forth, Christ gave us the Old Testament. He gave us people, sacraments, uh, 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 laws, and so forth so we would understand the New Testament. Amen. The Old Testament is predominantly physical. The New Testament is predominantly spiritual. 
But how can you understand spiritual things if you can't understand physical things? Isn't that what he told Nicodemus? Yes. Amen. And so one, one of the things that helps us understand spiritual things is when we come to a clear understanding of physical things. He gave you the physical to show that. Right? So now we understand why Jesus went from court to court to court. Amen. And 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 Pontius, Pontius Pilate said, I find no fault. Why did they do that? Anybody thinking of the old testament? Why did they do that? Why did they take Jesus from court to court to court? And then Pontius Pilate had to say, I find no fault before he could be sacrificed. Well, but no, losing the old testament. Why they said that? Because before the lamb was a sacrifice, it had to be examined. They had to make sure the lamb had no spot or blemishes on it before they sacrificed it. So before Christ could be sacrificed, the leader had to say, I find no fault in it. Does that make sense? So it, it, it's the same thing. That, right? Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. So just so, and I say all that to say that's why you you often you need to read the Old Testament too. I've been learning so much from Chronicles being a leader. Woo, about them kings, how what God didn't like and what God liked, and what man I've been learning so much for my leadership. I'm like, Lord. Amen. One thing I found out though, and I don't know if y'all found out this. That when you get older, you get more looser. Have you noticed that they was tight, 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 even the good ones? But as they got older, they did something stupid. I started praying, Lord, as I get older, don't let me do nothing stupid. <laughs> I mean, you learn a lot from that. I've been, they got, if you are in leadership, you can learn from the good, the high, what God hated, what God loved. Like you can learn from that second Chronicles. Ooh. Amen. To God be the glory, brothers and sisters. Amen. Well, let's jump back into the book of Galatians, chapter 5, verses 22 to 23. We've been studying the fruits of the Spirit. Somebody read read that for me, Minister D. Amen. But the fruit of the Spirit, Galatians 5, verse 20 through, 22 through 23. Mm -hmm. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Against such there is no law. Always remember, law brings forth judgment. Law brings forth judgment. What gets people incarcerated, executed by the law, I mean by the courts, amen, is that they, amen, broke what? The law. Law brings judgment, amen? So when that says there is no law, that means when we walk under the fruits of the Holy Spirit, there is no judgment. It's just freedom. It's just good, amen? Walking in the Spirit of God is life itself. Does that make sense, brothers and sisters? When it's talking about the fruits of the Spirit, I'm going to say this every time I'm teaching Amen. On purpose, just so we understand when it's talking about the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's talking about the characteristics of the Holy Spirit. Right. The characteristics. Amen. Understanding that the Holy Spirit is the DNA of God. Jesus was not born by man's seed. Amen. Jesus was not born of Joseph's seed. He was born of God's seed. And God's seed was the Holy Spirit because the angel told Mary that the Holy Ghost is going to overshadow you and impregnate you. Amen. Because God is a what? Spirit. Amen. And you only can give birth to what you are. It would be impossible if I, if I impregnate Janelle and the baby comes out Caucasian if it's my seed. Because because my 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 ethnicity is carried through my bloodline. Oh, I, does that make sense, brothers and sisters? So when it says when it says that the fruits of the spirit is love and joy and peace, it's talking about the DNA traits, the characteristics of God. When you are born again, 
this is supposed to this is supposed to show in your life. Why? Because your God is love. How can you be a child of God and you're not loving? That might it might lead to you're not born again. Does, does that make sense? I didn't have to try to be African American. I just came out like this. Often my mom would say, you do stuff just like your daddy that I don't, I'm not even aware of. But it has passed through my, and I don't even try to do it. It passed, it passed through the DNA. Some of you look just like your mama. Some of you act just like your daddy. Some of you hold your mouth like your daddy. Some of you hold your hands like your mama. And you don't even try to do it. It just passes through. So when you are born again, after a while, the fruits of the spirit are supposed to just be natural. You don't supposed to try to be loving if you're born again. You're just supposed to be loving this God of life. Does, does that make sense, brothers and sisters? The Bible says this. Let me give y'all another scripture. The Bible says this. I, I, I want to, like I said, I'm doing this on purpose. I'm repeating myself on purpose. Matthew 7, 15, and 20. Matthew 7, 15, and 20. It says, beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep clothing, being inwardly that they are ravishing wolves. You will know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree bears good fruit, but every bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree, look at this, cannot bear bad fruit nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Therefore, by their fruits, you will know them. If this is not just talking about the wrongs and the rights, right? Because sometimes right people, unfortunately, do sometimes wrong things, and wrong people do right things. It's, not ta it's talking about fruit. It's talking about characteristics. It's talking about DNA. Right? That's what it's talking about. You, I, you're going to know God's people by their fruits. What fruit? No, fruits of the Holy Spirit. Not just because you can sing or preach. That's not what it's talking about. That's gifts. God. You don't know God's people by gifts. Because God has given everybody a gift. It just chooses who, knew, who yields their gift to the Father. You got some people that sing secular music that can sing really well. And God gave them that gift, but a gift comes without calling our repentance. Does that make sense, brothers and sisters? You don't know people by gifts. You don't know people by titles. You don't know people by suits. You don't know people by any of that. He said, you're going to know them by their fruit. After a while, they're going to start to look like me. They're going to start to act like me. They're going to start to love like me. They're going to start to have joy like me. They're going to start to have peace like me. Amen. After a while, you should listen. Look at your child and see you. Something would be wrong if I looked at my son and didn't see me. Uh, I would question, oh God, what was my wife doing? Who is that? That boy don't look like me. He don't act like me. He has no ways like me. I don't know if that's mine. But I can look at my very son and I can see me. I can see ways like him. The other day, we was talking. I asked him to do something. He didn't do it. I said, boy, you are stubborn like your granddaddy. I said, you sure is a manny. Because on my daddy's side, all the men are just stubborn. And I said, I see that in you. I said, I feel like I'm talking to my daddy right now. Boy, I see that in you. He said, ah, are y'all are listening to me? So, so people should just look at our life without us whispering the word and see that you are a child of God. Are y'all listening to me? But fruit is not bared overnight. You know anything about agriculture? It takes time to bear fruit, to show. It takes time to show. Amen? It takes time to show. So you can't come to quick judgment on people. You got to watch them for a minute. Does that make sense? After a while, you just watch that. I was telling a young man that today, as I'm counseling him, he's an 18 year old in our program. I told him, don't talk a lot. I said, you're around all these men. You're young. Shut your mouth and just look at them. Look what you should be and what you shouldn't be. Good God. So I was telling him, you got to look. You don't learn while you're talking, you learn while you're observing. I said, you got to watch. 
And you, because after a while, you you can't be with live with somebody for a whole year and they keep up a whole front for a whole year. After a while, you're gonna see who they are. Ah, does that make sense, brothers and sisters? So the fruits that we're talking about, and the reason I'm teaching on this is because, of course, I told you about New Year's resolution to be like Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jesus was loving. Jesus was joyful. Jesus had peace. Jesus was long-suffering. Jesus was kind. Jesus was good. Jesus was faithful. Jesus was gentle. Amen. Jesus had self-control. Let's go to the next fruit. Joy. Let's talk about some joy. The fruit of the Spirit is joy. Christians are supposed to be joyful people. Y'all listening to me. Christians are supposed to be joyful people. How can you be a child of God? Now, I'm not saying some days you don't have bad days and we have down days. We all do. But after, after a while, you can't be a child of God and every day have an attitude. <clears throat> every day be negative. Mean. Something is after something is wrong after a while. I was looking at one of our brothers, even in my program, and I told him, something is wrong with you. He said, What you mean, chap? I said, You don't have no joy. I said, You must, you can't be reading your Bible. I told him. Because it's impossible to read the Bible and not have joy. Uh, I, I, I said, You can't be reading it. Because one thing the Bible gives you is hope. It helps you see past this place. It gives you dreams and visions and God will expose you past your present situation. You can't be reading the Bible. And if you ain't reading the Bible, all you're seeing is this in the situation you're in. No wonder every day I want to drive up to you, your mouth is frowned up. You shouldn't wake up six, seven in the morning and be frowned up. What's wrong with you? Good God Almighty. You got a new day. Don't you know somebody died last night? You God brave you a new day to get it right. You well, you you entered into this day with an attitude. How do you wake up with attitude? Oh, it's are, are y'all listening to me? Go to Psalms 100. We're gonna talk about joy. God don't like attitude. God don't like murmuring and complaining. They missed the promised land, not because they were evil people. They missed the promised land because they murmured and complained. They had attitudes. They wasn't joyful. I just left, brought you out of 400 years of slavery and oppression. How dare you get over here and be having an attitude? Good God. Read that for me. Psalms 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Do you, do you, he, he didn't say you serve. Back, back in the old days, the more down you looked, the more they thought that was spiritual. Back in the old church, the more serious and pious you looked, and they said you were spiritual then. The more dry you looked. You know how you see what they be looking Bible don't say, God, Bible say you serve the Lord with gladness. A smile is spiritual. Good God, I'm out there, the Holy Ghost. A smile is spiritual. Are y'all, not the more pious you look, the more joyful you look, lets me know the more Holy Ghost you got. Are y'all listening to me, brothers and sisters? Go ahead. It says, serve the Lord with gladness. Go ahead. Uh, come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. That's why you should be happy. You're his people. That's, that's, that, if you can't find anything to be happy about or have joy about, the root of our joy is not money. The root of our joy is not my big house. The root of our joy is not uh, earthly possessions. The root of our joy is I'm his son. Uh, I'm his son if I got it. I'm his son if I don't got it. I'm his son if I'm in a house. I'm his son if I'm in a shelter. Are y'all listening to me? That's the only thing that can't be stolen away from you is your position in God. 
everything else is going to fluctuate. It's going to go up, it's going to go down. It's going to go up, it's going to go down. It's going to go up, it's going to go down. That's why he said you got to put on the helmet of salvation. You got to know one thing in your head. I'm a son of God. I'm a daughter of God. I'm his people. Oh, good God. Go ahead. Go ahead. Enter into his gates this is what I want to get. with thanksgiving uh -huh. and into his courts with praise. Uh -huh. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. Amen. This, that's what I want to get to the enter in part. That's what jumped out to me when I was studying about joy. It says you enter in to God's gates with thanksgiving. You go in. In other words, to come in to the presence of God, you got to put a smile on your face. Uh, it was, a, you could be killed back in the biblical days if you approached the king and your continence was down. You don't approach kings with your continence down. Are y'all listening to me? Because the very fact that the king is willing to talk to you should give you some joy in your heart. Oh, good God. You, you, you think you deserve to be talked to by God? You, you think that somewhere in your holiness and godliness and your works that that deserves for God to have a meeting with us? I hear, do you understand how powerful it is to say, God, talk to me? Why you? You ain't nobody. I ain't nobody. Why would something that has no beginning or ending sit down and talk to something that does have an ending? Uh, you, you can't call certain meetings with certain senators. There's certain people in this world that feel, don't find us important enough to sit down and have a meeting with. So for God to sit down and say, you can come boldly before my throne, that should give you some type of joy. Does that make sense, brothers and sisters? You, when you, How you get into the presence of God is you first got to put a smile on your face. You first got to get your attitude together. Before you come in and worship God, go in the corner. If you got a bad attitude disposition, and get your attitude right. Tell the Lord to change your attitude first. Because you cannot come in without thanksgiving. Good God Almighty. Ah, oh, you can't come. So how I get into the presence of God is I first I say, Lord, I thank you. Mm, I thank you, Lord, for waking me up this morning. I thank you, Lord, for starting me on my way, Father God. I thank you, Lord, for the clothes on my back, Lord. I thank you for the hot water that just hit my body, Lord. I thank you for the toothpaste that's about to hit my mouth, Lord. I thank you for the socks I'm about to put on my feet, Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I shall be glad. That's how you go in. That's how you wake up. If you start doing that, your whole outlook on your day will change. Why are you a sad and the God of heaven and earth is on your side? That shows a lack of faith. That shows a lack of faith. Are y'all listening to the call a meeting with somebody that has an army that can devour everything and you worried about a man? That's, fear not man that can kill the body. But fear the one that can kill the body and soul. And the one that can kill the body and soul calls me his friend. Why am I mad? Ah. Hallelujah! You got to come in with a smile on your face. Don't ever come to my house unless something's really going on in your life and you ain't got a smile on your face. I never get it. It was one day my brother was dating. She was some, you know. Anyway, she knocked on the door, and when I opened the door, I could tell, you know, she had a frown on her face. I told my mama, "You deal with that." And I went and got in my room. So exactly what I did. Nah, nope. But somebody, my spirit said, mm -mm. Mm -mm. "You're crying too much." 
Every time I see you, you're looking like that. Why well, pray for you this time? The last prayer evidently didn't work. I've been praying for you five times. You still ain't got no joy. Maybe I'm not the one. You still sad? No, I, I, I'm not the one. You pray for him then. Uh, let's keep going. You enter in. I'm going I'm to I'm 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 connect joy to the kingdom. Somebody give me Romans 14, 17. Romans 14, 17. Romans 14, 17. Go ahead. Go ahead. You read it. Go ahead. Yeah. They ain't got a mic. Romans 14. All right, we'll be passing the mic. We got to get more mics than we can do it. <laughs> Romans 14, 17. I'll read it while you get to the next one. It, it's, you got it? Okay, here we go. Let's do what he says here. Romans 14, 17. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy oh, Ghost. Spirit. He told you what the kingdom He said, the kingdom of God ain't about eating and meat and drinking. The kingdom of God ain't about who got the biggest church and who don't. He said, the kingdom of God, ain't, that ain't what it's about. The kingdom of God is about living right. Right. I love it. The kingdom of God is about being right. Uncle Paul. <laughs> He said, he said, it's about righteousness. He said, it's about peace. Kingdom of God ain't chaos. It ain't chaotic. I was telling somebody the other day, the Holy Ghost is intelligent. He's not strange or weird. Are y'all listening to him? He ain't a spook. Uh, it ain't about that. The kingdom of God is about righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Spirit. That's what the kingdom of God is about. That's what it is. It's a life that has joy because you're walking by the Holy Ghost. Oh, did you hear what I just said? You're walking in the supernatural. You're, oh, good God Almighty. You're walking in the heavenly realm. Jesus, he existed in the earthly realm, but he moved in the heavenly realm. He brought heaven unto earth. How can your mind be focused on earth and you got heaven in you? What's bringing you down is you got too much earth in you. Carnality, flesh. And it's bringing your joy down. The kingdom of God is about walking in the Holy Ghost. It's almost impossible to walk in the Holy Ghost and not have joy. I got joy in my soul. God is in control. I got Satan on my trail. Listen to it. But I'm singing all is well. He's attacking every day. But I'm watching while I pray. No matter the attack, I won't turn. That's the kingdom of God. I got joy in my soul. And hell is all around me. But I'm not worried. Amen. Because I'm walking in God. Hallelujah, Jesus. God got me. Hallelujah, Jesus. He said, that's what the kingdom of God is about. Let's keep going. Go, go, go. Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles 16, 27. I'm going to try. Second Chronicles. First Chronicles, forgive me. First Chronicles 1627. First Chronicles. First Chronicles 1627. Glory and honor are in his presence. Strength and gladness are in his place. place. Talking about the majesty of God. Glory and honor is in the presence of God. It says strength and gladness. Our strength, my brother reads, strength and joy is where he resides. It's in his place. You can't come before God. See, it's in his place. Because your daddy is joy. So when you come into his presence, joy is there. It's in his place. You understand what I'm saying? It, it's there. 
So even if you're not joyful when you enter into his presence, joy will be there. You just got to tap it. It's there. I even try to get into his presence to lift up my soul. Does that make sense? I get into his presence to become joyful. Good God Almighty. So when you're down, you're supposed to enter into his presence because that's where joy is. Does that make sense, brothers and sisters? I'm just talking about how joy connects to the kingdom. I want to give you another one. Give me Matthew 25, 21. Matthew 25. Matthew 25, verse 21. His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things, and I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Enter into the joy of thy Lord. It's his joy. He didn't say enter into the chaos of thy Lord. He didn't say enter into the misery of thy Lord. You don't supposed to be saved and miserable. God didn't save you to be miserable. Y'all listen, he didn't save you for that. He didn't save you. When you were saved, you're supposed to enter into the joy of thy master. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Salvation means not only am I saved from my, from my, my sins and I've received redemption, amen, but salvation means I receive the joy of being saved, the joy of thy salvation. There's joy that comes with salvation. Are y'all listening to me? Well, one of the one of the fringe benefits of salvation is you got to smile now. I, I knew I was different when I was facing 25 years of life. I was incarcerated. I was on an eight pod. I had an orange jumpsuit on. Amen. But I walked around like I was free. The pod. Hey, y'all. Fight for my life. Oh, God is good. See, that's when I got saved. When I first got in there, I was depressed. I was down. I, I, I was just confused and ugly and just uh, just miserable. Didn't, didn't come out the room for six days. But when God came into me, he did something to me where he didn't change my situation. He changed my attitude. Uh, fighting for my life and still smiling. Hallelujah. Because I entered into his joy. Incarcerated, but I'm in his joy. Bad situation, but I'm in his joy. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. The kingdom of God is joy. I want to give you another one. Is that good? Yeah. I want to give you a. Uh, yeah. Give me this one. Well, now, I'm, I'm going to switch lanes so I can have time. I got too much to get. Uh, so, we talked about the kingdom of God is a joyful kingdom. How you enter into the kingdom of God is by joy. Amen. One thing the kingdom of God gives you is joy. Does that make sense? Now, now let's talk about us. Amen. As people of God. Amen. Uh, go to Luke 10. Luke 15, chapter 10. Luke 15, verse 10. Luke 15, verse 10. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repents. That repents. It says when one sinner, that was us, repented, amen, the angels rejoice. There was joy. There's joy into the presence of God, amen. 
Amen. When 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 we repented to God, brothers and sisters, Amen. It was a party in heaven for us. They all rejoiced. Amen. When one when when individuals are saved, Amen. That that's supposed to make all of us rejoice. Amen. One of the reasons it, it should make us rejoice is one. Because we are a body, the body has received strength by that person being added. That's why we say maximum participation, because how with body part, amen, don't work. As I said, you got to serve because with body part on your body don't work. If you got a body party on your body that don't work, we call that disease. Oh, Y'all listen to me. So in the body of Christ, every everybody is supposed to work. They add. They have gifts. They have talent. Amen. That can add to the body. So when somebody is added to the body, the body should rejoice. Because does that make sense? Because I'm stronger because of you. Does that make sense, brothers and sisters? Amen. Let me give you something else about us. Amen. 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 Go to th uh, 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 the Epistle John, Third John, one and four. Third John, one and four. Third John, one and four. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Hmm. That, that's what God said. About us. Well, 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 how we bring God joy is that we walk in the truth. Is that you walk in the word. That's what God is looking for. God is looking for people that are not just hearers of the word, but doers of the word. Are y'all listening to me? If you only come here and don't do the word, you're not going to get the blessing of it. If, does that make sense? You don't, the James said, don't just be a hearer of the word, but you got to be a doer of the word because when you and I do the word, we make our father happy. And when you make your father happy, your father rewards you. Right? When my son had a birthday and he was asking for something, amen, and I, and I said, well, that's kind of, that, ooh, hmm, that's kind of a lot. But I had to go about his count how he acts. And, but I said, well, but you bring me joy. You, 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 don't, you don't bring me down. Right? You're not making me go great. Are, are you listening to me? Like, you're, you're, you're honoring what I'm asking you to do. How can I deny you? Does that make sense? So I couldn't say no because you're doing everything I'm asking you to do. And I was feeling convicted by telling you no, knowing that you're doing everything I'm asking you to do. When we do what God asks us to do, God ain't going to tell you no. How can he say no and you're a good son? You're a good daughter. Does that make sense? But what gets us chastised is when we're not doing what the Father is asking you to do and you wonder why nothing ain't working in your life. Are y'all listening to me? It ain't if you do what he's asking you to do. Matter of fact, let me show it to you. Let me show it to you. Let me show it to you. I can show it to you more in the word. Go to Genesis. Help me, Holy Spirit. Go to Genesis. Go to Genesis. Ah. Uh, Go to Genesis chapter 4. Let's read uh, 6 and 7. Go to Genesis chapter 4. Mm -hmm. 6 and 7. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth? And why is thou continents fallen? He, he said unto Cain, Why are you mad, Cain? That's what wroth means, angry. Why are you angry? And why has your continent why are you frowned up looking at me, Cain? That's what he's saying. Why has your continent fallen? 
Why is your face so low? What did he say? Verse 7. If thou dost, doest well, doest well, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door. He said, if you do well, will I not bless you? You think I chose Abel over you? No, I didn't. There's no favorites in the kingdom of God. There's no favorites in the kingdom of God. God has no respecter of person. God respects principles. That's what God respects, principles. In other words, you, I didn't choose Cain, Abel over you, over some personal. I chose Abel over you because Abel did what I wanted. Uh, that, that's what he said. If, if you wouldn't do good, will I not bless you? This ain't personal. This is business. This is kingdom business. <laughs> God, God don't have nothing personal against nobody or he likes her more than he likes her. He likes it. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Now, he, he gives out titles and duties of court. He might give you a person favor, but with God, when God gives a person favor, amen, everybody else walks in it. He doesn't give the person favor for the sake of the person. He gives the person favor for the sake of the people. He gave Joseph the favor to save the people. It was Joseph's favor that kept the famine off his family, so the people got the favor for free. Aww. Is it better to walk in the blessing of the Father, just live in the house of being? That's so good! That's what this is they about. They don't teach it like that! Noah, Noah favor saved his family. They walked in Noah's favor. But the favor wasn't just for Noah, it was for them. So when he says favor, Amen. It's not saying he, he, he likes them more. He just chose them to get the thing going that the others will follow underneath. That's all. They're just the first. And y'all, Jesus was favored by God. We're walking in the blessing of Jesus. The blessing you have on your life, you didn't pay for it. You didn't die for it. You don't deserve it. God favored Jesus to die for me. Oh, God, I wish this was Sunday morning. God favored Jesus, to die for me, I am living in the blessing of another man. Hallelujah. 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 You didn't buy that house, yet you're murmuring it. I'll never forget when they gave me my house. I will never forget this. I'm sitting by my downstairs thing, and I'm murmuring and complaining in a new house with my continent that's fallen, and the Holy Ghost said, what's wrong with you? Yeah. But he told me, sis, what's wrong with you? You want to go back to the ghetto? You, he told me, you didn't even buy this. Why are you worried about keeping it? You didn't know I was going to put it on their heart to give you this. You didn't know that I was going to move you from there up here. It just happened overnight, and now you're here, and you want to be down there. Oh, what's wrong with you? Your appetite. I'm moving you to a palace, but your appetite is in the ghetto. I said, move you back to the ghetto then. That's what he was telling. You better change that attitude. I'm going to put you out. You and my blessing murmuring and complaining. I did this for you. I did it for you, Mustafa, to make you smile. How what I'm doing to make you smile is making you frown. I'm confused. Oh, are y'all listening to me? That's what he was telling me. I didn't do this to make you murmur and complain. I did this because I wanted you to dance with me. Hey. I wanted you to say hallelujah to me. You sitting here depressed. What's wrong with you? I should take it away from you and give it to somebody that's more thankful. Tell me about this place. This building right here. I'm sitting in front of that park and I'm leaving one. I don't know if the wind's in front, but I'm murmuring and complaining about something he just gave me again. Ain't that what we do? I didn't earn it. I didn't build. I give you houses you don't have to build. 
Then y'all, you don't have to grow. I just walked around this building seven times with the church, and before I know it, I had everything. That's what we did. That's what we did. We walked around the walls of Jericho, and I claimed it, and God gave it to me, and I'm sitting in front complaining. Because I want him to do all the work. I want him to give me something prefab, here, spoiled. He said, I should take it from you. That's what he told me, right? In that, 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 that park. And he said, I should take it from you. Walk back in that place and see what it can be. That's what he told me. Open your eyes, son. I'm not going to do everything for you. I'm not going to spoil you like a child. You're a grown man. I gave it to you. Now go see what, it can, what you put your mind on it. So you got to put your mind on your life. You are depressed because you want God to do everything for you. And God gave you breath. What you going to do with the breath he gave you? He gave you strength. What you going to do with the strength he gave you? He gave you a mind. What you going to do with the mind he gave you? I started walking and said, that can be a studio. I said, these them screens. That's what I said. When I got out, when I, my attitude changed, I had vision. Ooh. When my attitude changed, I started seeing stuff that wasn't there. But my attitude was so messed up, I couldn't see. And when my attitude changed, I seen the blessing that was before my eyes. Yeah, 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 that side, yeah, that my shit. And I said, Lord, forgive me. Forgive me, Father. Forgive me. Forgive me. I'm in a blessing. I'm in glory. I'm in a blessing. I don't I didn't know, even know where I'm at. Lord, have mercy. You got to change your attitude so you can really see who you really are. You got to change your attitude so you can look around and see what you really got. God is not going to give you something already done. He wants, he wants to enter into partnership with you. He wants to say, come on, what you, Adam, you name it. Ah. Adam, Lazarus, come forth. Disciples, you untie him. Jairus' daughter, wake up, little girl. Parents, y'all fear. It's got to be a part where two touch and agree. Let all things be established. He wants to enter at the park, but, but God is joyful. I, I bless you. That's why I get it. That's why they didn't enter into the promised land. The attitude was jacked. I brought you out of slavery. I brought you from under your oppressor, beating you, whipping you, raping your women, doing all that. And then I bring you out, and you have one hard bump in the road, and you said you want to go back to Egypt? What a slap in my face. You telling me Pharaoh was better to you than I am to you? That's what you're telling them? He said, he said, they said, we would rather go back to Egypt. I'm giving you bread from heaven, and you talking about leeks and onions in Egypt. I heard that. Well, if I'm that bad, you won't come in. That's what he said. This generation won't enter in. They're going to die in the wilderness. I'm going to let their children come in. Because if y'all look at me like, no, 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 no. You can't have an attitude and my stuff. You got to choose one. You want to keep your attitude? Hold on to that. But you're not getting my stuff. Because you're ungrateful. Got to be grateful. Grandma used to tell me somebody give you a quarter, shout. They didn't have to do it for you. Right. Got to be grateful. You woke up today, grateful. You ate today, grateful. You driving cars today, grateful. You got to walk in here today, grateful. They can always be worse. I seen a woman the other day when I was dropping my brother off out in the freezing cold, and she didn't even have the mind to go in. I said, baby, you got to go in. You're going to die out here in this element. 
Can't stay out here too long. You're going to die. Straight up. But she don't even have the mind. You at least got the mind to put a coat on. Oh, good God Almighty. Grateful. Grateful. Got to be grateful. Got to be grateful. God's looking for a grateful people. Are y'all listening to me, brothers and sisters? He's looking for people that are just glad to be in the service. Don't have to be the head. Don't have to be the dude. See, see that's why I love David, because David had, I get why he chose him to be king. David said, I don't have to be king. I can just be a door. I just want to be in the building. See, God will, God will not promote people that want to be promoted. Whoa. He's not going to promote you. He promotes people that are just glad to be in the building. Just glad to be in the service. That's the one he's looking for. Just grateful. Just happy. I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful. My life was messed up. Before. Ah! My life was messed up before this. I'm grateful. I was in hell. I'm grateful. Are y'all listening to me? That's what he's looking for. He's looking for people that are just glad. I, I'm just glad I woke up this morning. Uh, yeah, with all the sin I committed over my life. And death passed over me. And he keeps giving me days and days and days and looking over my sinful ways. Nobody in here deserved to woke up. Sin bringing forth death. The only reason death passed over you is that God was with you. Are you listening to me? You don't deserve to got this air. This is a blessing. Hallelujah. Made it to another year. You ain't seen all the people that died in 2020, died in 2020. Me and my son were talking about that. You ain't seen many people left here. And you, you ain't no better. I'm no better. Are y'all listening to me? If God takes his hand off you, you gonna know it and everybody else is too. Y'all listening to me. It won't be very long. Good God Almighty. Hallelujah, Jesus. We got to be a grateful people. Are y'all listening to me, brothers and sisters? I'm happy. I'm grateful. I'm good. I'm blessed. Amen. If God be for me. Are, are y'all listening to me, brothers and sisters? Hallelujah. Let me give you this one. Amen. I'm going to give you two more. Amen. Amen. We're talking about joy. Joy in my soul. Go to Nehemiah 8 and 10. God is looking for us. Grateful people. Do you know smiling is attractive? Do you know smiling draws people to you? You know that? It draws people. When people are frowned up, mean, nobody want, nobody got time for that. But, you know, that's what I tell some people. That's why sometimes why people all by themselves, nobody messes. You think it's them. It ain't them, it's you. <laughs> you're hateful, you're mean. Are y'all listening to me? You're not loving. You're not joyful. You're not caring. You're not kind. We're going to talk about that in a minute. I don't want to keep going. Give me Matthew. Give me Nehemiah 8 and 10. Go ahead. Then he said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet, and send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. Oh, listen to me. He said, I want you to eat and drink, and I want you to give to people that ain't even ready for it. They don't have nothing. I'm going to use you to give to them. That's what he said. Nothing is prepared for them. I'm going to let you bless them. Go ahead. Go ahead. Good God. Is anybody in you, when you look really over your life, you look over your pen, you look, did you see that you had no inheritance? Or is that just me? I was telling somebody the other day, amen, they, they didn't leave us nothing. <laughs> <laughs> amen. But somehow you got an inheritance? Mm -hmm. uh, had nothing coming. Mama messed up. Daddy messed up. So you got to be real honest with yourself. That's it. No, no, y'all messed up. 
but God corrected it. What, what y'all, what the devil meant for evil, God turned it, God turned it for good. Go ahead. Prepare for, for this day is holy unto the Lord. Neither ye be sorry, for the joy of the Lord is your He strength. said, don't be sorry, don't be grieved, for the joy of the Lord is your ah. that's, that's That's the strength that Christians have, is that I have joy in the Lord. That's my strength. I believe in Jesus. I'm going to make it. I'm going to be all right. Uh, 10,000 may die around me. 3,000 may die beside me. But the plague ain't going to come to my house. I don't know about y'all, but they coming into my house. Hallelujah. I don't even believe. I don't think it's strong enough to get me. If God don't want it to get me. He said the joy of the Lord. So if I was the devil, if I wanted to take your strength, I would play with your emotions and I would snatch your joy. I would weaken you before I bumped you. Before I, before I really came in for the kill, I would depress you because you're not strong. I would depress you to the point that you would pick up a gun and kill yourself. That's what I would do if I was the devil. I would mess with your emotions. You have to watch your emotions. You can't be led by your emotions. One way the devil attacks us, he atta I never used to start attacking my emotions. He was making me unstable emotionally. One day I was up. One day I was down. One day I was happy. One I'm unstable. Emo He's all in my emotions. I got to get control of my emotions. You know, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to have joy. I don't care what's going on. I ain't going to complain about it. I'm not going to be fretting over it. I'm not going to be talking all day about it. Either I'm going to deal with it, I'm going to leave it alone. Does that make sense? Get control of your emotions. Does that make sense, brothers and sisters? Get control of your emotions. Be happy every day. Be joyful every day. Every day. I think of those things that are good, upright. Those things that be, think on that type of stuff. Take, on, take your mind off what's wrong. Stop hearing all the wrong. Who this get? Who got that? No, 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 no. I don't want to hear all of that all day. After a while, when the news gets to leave, I turn it off. It's too much. Turn on something that's going to make me laugh. I don't want to hear that all day. Who died? Who did? Who died? I don't care after a while. I got to protect my emotions. I'm going to I, I'm gonna be honest. I'll be honest. I left work early today. No, I left early today. Too much down. I'm cool. Everybody here crying. Everybody. I talked to a wife. It's too much private today. <laughs> No, I, I kept it real. I said, no, 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 I'm going to chop it. No, 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 no. I've been pouring the yard for too long. You still walking in this office looking like that? No, I, I ain't meeting with nobody today. Too much poverty. You're starting to make me impoverished. <laughs> I'm getting up out of here today. No, for real. I'll be back tomorrow serving, but today I ain't got to know. I got to protect my little joy I got. I am I'm getting that. I walked past one of my clients. How you doing, brother? He just walked off without knowing that. I said, why you got an attitude with me? I'm the one that's helping you. But I can start telling how my attitude is. But when I talk to you, say something, brother. I said, uh-oh. I'm leaving. I said, I did. That was the day. No, brother, when I say that, you don't walk off and turn your back on me. I dare you. <laughs> Too much. I'm leaving. It's rubbing off on me. I'm ready to jump on you. I know it's rubbing off. And you ain't did nothing. But with that attitude. But I'm helping you. Going to bat for you, taking you here, taking you there, making sure you get your ID. You didn't even have no social security card. 
didn't even know who your mama was. I made sure that happened. You ain't saying nothing to me? Oh, you want <laughs> Are you, ah, let me give you one more. But I left. I did. I left today. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yes. 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 It's a choice. It's a choice. It's a choice. It, yes. You, you, you don't, even with our physical bodies, how you get healed is you got to be joyful. You can't be in the hospital arguing with the nurses. Oh, why are y'all touching me like that? One, they're not going to want to treat on you. They're going to skip over your room because nobody goes to work to get cussed. I don't care how sick you are. You know what I mean? They'll say, that's mean person's room. And you're not going to get the love back. Love actually heals you. Laughter, it says, is medicine to your soul. It's good to laugh. Is it, is it, right? It heals. One, one, if you, if you, if you want to get healed, get happy. Uh, right? That heals you. Negativity, stress kills you faster than anything. You got high blood pressure. You can't digest your food. And all that because you're, you're just negative. If you're stressed out, it's killing you. Does that make sense? Go, that's, go, go to a ball game. Go to a comedy show. Go, you, you know, you got to, life is serious. I get that. I'm a serious person. But after a while, you got to stop being so serious sometimes. And let's just come up for air. Right? And let's just have some fun for a minute. We're going to get back serious. But I can't be serious all the time. Right? I got to have some. I, he did give me, give me life to life more abundant. Part of life is to enjoy the day you got. I'm going to minister. I'm going to feed. I'm going to do all of that. But part of the day also, I'm going I'm to go to a sky. I am going to go to a ball game. I'm going to yell. Ask Janelle. I'm the one that's dancing about a few. Hey, hey, that's me. I'm going to do that. Because I, I know how to do this, but I got to know how to do this, too. Yes. You got to have a balance. You can't be in a married couple and all you're talking to is your couple about bills. Work with the house. Nobody want to keep hearing about it. Let's have some fun. Right? Let's make some love. Oh. <laughs> Are y'all listening to me? Got to have some fun. Hey, Amen. Last one. James 1, verse 2. James chapter 1, verse 2. He gave us to enjoy one another, the body of Christ. To love on one another, to laugh together, amen, to cry together, to be with each other. Amen. James 1, verse 2. Mm -hmm. You with it, D? My brother, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptation, mm. knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Mm -hmm. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire wanting nothing. Now, he says, count it now, all Chief, joy. 20,000 times. Yeah. That, wow. <laughs> count it joy when you fall. Count it joy when you're in a fight. Count it joy when you're under attack. That's what he's saying. Yeah. Yeah. Count it joy when the devil, so when the devil's on your back, you don't know about to be, oh, no, Lord, the devil just on me. 
That, that's not the, it's not the, it's not the, the devil fighting, y'all. Uh, but when God get done with this, woo, I see the Lord doing something in me. Ain't no, I'm praying more than I ever prayed. I'm studying more than I he said, you're supposed to count a joy when you're in a fight. One, you should count a joy when you're in a fight because you know God's going to bring you out. Right? I, I'm putting you, he said, because I'm, 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 I'm perfecting your faith. I'm strengthening your faith in me. So I put you against opposition so you can start to see how bad I am. I, you're not fighting the devil, amen, for the devil to take you out. I'm letting you go against him so I can show you how strong I am so you will depend on me and you won't be lacking nothing after a while. Your faith, good God Almighty, your faith will bring you to a place where you have no lack. I'm trying to strengthen your faith to the point where there is no lack, but you're going to be perfect in all things. Are, are y'all listening to me, brothers and sisters? Amen. But but in, see see when the general got all these stars and stripes, amen. Those are all the signs of all the wars that he won. And after you win so many wars, you're not afraid of war no more. Uh, you, you you start saying, I don't think nobody bad down enough to kill me down there. Are y'all lit? He says, I'm trying to build your faith to the point, amen. That when I start telling you to take big stuff, amen. Hallelujah. I, I practice you on small stuff. I practice you on bills. I practice you on little stuff. So when you get ready to do something big, you got the faith to do it. Practice on the lion. Good God. Man. Practice on the bear. Because one day, I'm going to bring you to a Goliath. And Goliath is your door that will bring you into the promise. Oh, good God Almighty. What brought me into my promise what in the good places are y'all listening to me? What it was the horrible places before I got even this building, we was getting fought. They were trying to put us out of it, amen. And God said, March around you. Ah. And everybody that's fighting against you, I watch them start removing, removing. Re ah. What brings you into the palace is the problem. If you escape problems, you're going to miss your palace. But if you have the faith that if God be for me, look at the attitude of David versus Goliath. Look at his attitude. Look at that. He got joyful. He starts saying, person get to that's, kill him. That's what he, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. he wasn't worried about killing him. He, he just wanted to know what I get for. <laughs> I, 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 there's a blessing behind it. But he wouldn't have had that faith if God wouldn't have tried him with the lion. See, we never hear the story of David and the lion. But it, but it was the backstory. We never hear the story of David and the bear. Right? But it happened. God, God he prepares you. Ask Joshua. Ask Moses. Spent 40 days, 40 years on the backside of this mountain. Preparing. Because one day you're going to have to lead a million people to the backside of this mountain. So Moses knew, don't eat that, eat that. Don't do that. No, we're going this way. He knew, he knew the wilderness because God prepared him into the wilderness. Getting you ready. See, there, there comes a season where God hides you, getting you ready. He allows you to fight your, your, your giants and your lions and tigers and bears, nobody's seeing it. But he's not allowing you to fight it to bring you down. He's trying to strengthen your spiritual muscles because I got a promise for you. I got a promise for you. But there's going to be a Goliath in front of that door. I told you open doors. But I didn't tell you about the Goliath that's in front of the door. That you're going to have to move him to get in. 
But to move him to get in, you got to have faith. That's, that he said, I want to build your faith, but you don't, you're not going to lack nothing. You're not going to lack nothing. You're not going to lack nothing. Stand to your feet. You're not going to lack nothing. I, it, uh, and you're going to be humble when I give you everything. See, see, also one thing about battles and tribulations it does, you know what it does too? It makes you humble. So when I do exalt you, you stay low. Because David, you know you wouldn't have killed that bear if I wasn't with you. You know you wouldn't have killed Goliath if I wasn't with you. So, so can I lift you up and you stay low in your spirit? Or when I lift you up, is your head going to get bigger? I'm going to have to break it down again. Have joy. Everybody right now, give God a proud of applause. Give him some praise. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Shout unto the Lord with a voice of triumph. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. I feel the Holy Ghost. It is he that has made us, or not we ourselves. We are his people. We are the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him. Be thankful that you made it out. Be thankful that he saved your soul. Be thankful that you didn't die. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. <laughs> oh, oh. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endures. You're walking in truth. You're going to endure everything. Father, I thank you. I praise you. I honor you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you for bringing us through another day. We thank you for the health and strength in our bodies. We thank you that we got an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying. We thank you that we are children of God. Hallelujah. We thank you that we are the beloved. Hallelujah. That we are the redeemed. We are the Holy Ghost filled. We are the sanctified. We thank you that heaven is backing us. We thank you that angels are around us. We thank you that, hallelujah, you won't hold back one good thing from us. We thank you, Lord, that if we even drink any deadly thing, it will not harm us. But we walk on snakes and scorpions. We're thankful. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. We're thankful that we got the victory. We thank you that our children got the victory. We thank you that our family got the victory. We thank you that our friends got the victory. Hallelujah. We're, we're thankful that we got everlasting life and we can't die. Yes! We're thankful that surely goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our life. And we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. We're thankful. Hallelujah. 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 We're thankful that if we do right, you're going to bless us. You told us, Lord, that if we do good, hallelujah, and hallelujah, if we, we love you and do good, we're going to eat the fat of the land. We're thankful for it. Hey! Thank you that everything we touch prospers. Thank you that every battle we face, we win. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you that it's more for us than it is more for the devils. Open your eyes and see how many is for you. Good God, thank you that we're surrounded by a cloud of witnesses. Hallelujah. 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 We're coming out of depression. 
We coming out of feeling bad. Hallelujah. 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 Give us our joy in the name of Jesus. Give us our joy. We bless you, Lord. We bless you. We honor you. We praise 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 and we bless your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If God be for us, who can be against us? Glad to be in the service. He didn't have to let me do it. Hallelujah. Yes. I feel good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your people. May your face always smile upon us. May we lift up our continents. In the name of, ain't nobody going to follow no sad looking person. Let us put a smile on our face and tell people, God is good to me. So been good to me. Oh, God. Hallelujah. We bless you. We honor you. I thank you for my brothers and sisters. I thank you for all these mighty people, all these great people, powerful people. Thank you for them. Thank you for them. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Brought me a mighty long way. We bless you. We love you. We love you. We love you. Tell the Lord you love him. Tell him you love him. Talk to him just for a minute. I'm going to get you out of here. But have, but, but, but have a love talk with your daddy. Don't ask him for nothing. Just tell him, just tell him how much you love him. Tell him how much you care for him. Tell him how good he's been to you. Tell him how bad he is. Talk to him. Oh, whisper those sweet things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bad God. <laughs> Mighty God. <laughs> Wonderful God. Prince of Peace. Wonderful Counselor. Oh. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you. 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 I'm going to get us out of here, but I was testifying to a brother today talking about how good God been to me, and I'll start crying in front of the boy because he's been good to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We love you. We love you. We love you. Despite everything, we still love you. And we know whatever we're going through, we got the victory already. So we're going to bed tonight. We ain't worried about nothing. You got us. You got us. We trust you. We trust you. We trust you that while we sleep, you work. We give you the glory, honor, and prayer. We trust you that we're healed. We trust you that we are delivered. We trust you that you, we know that your thoughts toward us are good and not evil, so we rejoice in you. We bless you and we honor you in Jesus' mighty name. This is what I want you to do. I want you to hug somebody and give them a big smile. Your spouse shows that you're spiritual. Don't forget to do your homework on joy. Find three scriptures on joy. How does being joyful benefit you and others? What do you need in order to gain or maintain your joy? And in what situation did you actively practice being joyful? What, it, what did it do? And what was the result? Smile at me. Smile at me. I want to see your teeth. Smile at 
let me. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.